What's up guys, I got a brand new video for you today and today we're looking at some accessories for the X100F and a couple of you guys have asked me where I got some of this stuff because I showed it off in my X100F review. If you haven't seen that, check the link up above. But basically the first thing I wanna talk about is the vented lens hood because this doesn't really come with a lens hood and it actually just takes a quarter turn and it pops on and off. It's super easy if you wanna take it off, put it in your pocket and it's not sticking out. But basically what it does is it comes with this adapter that screws into the front of the lens and it basically gives you a 49 millimeter front filter diameter so you can actually screw on a UV filter or something like that to protect the glass. You can do that or you can actually get a nice pinch clip front cap which you don't really get to do on this camera because it comes as sort of like a push on cap when you don't use this. But this lets you stick the vented lens hood on right on like that and it looks really nice. I think it looks sexy. It matches the camera. You can get it in silver to match the silver body. And it's just made by some company that I got off Amazon called JJC. And I looked it up on Amazon here, and right now it's going for $10.85 US, so super cheap to add a vented lens hood onto the front. It's metal. Next thing I wanna talk about is the screen protector because it's a glass screen protector. I don't know if it's tempered glass. Oh yeah, they do call it tempered. Okay, it's a tempered optical glass screen protector. It looks pretty much factory on this camera. It looks awesome. And I think it's something you might wanna get just to protect your camera because this thing's gonna last a lifetime. The thing's built like a tank. So you might as well put a screen protector on it. Nine bucks, super cheap. Uh, it was easy to put on. It comes with a full kit with like, you know, the wipe down thing and the squeegee and the microfiber cloth. So you can put all that on. I'll put links in the description where to get all this stuff if you want to snazz up your camera and make it look a little different. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the shutter release button. And I think this thing was super cheap. Yeah, this thing was seven bucks and it comes with two. Uh, it came in this little plasticky bag here with a wrist strap. So I got an extra one if you lose one because apparently these will back off and fall off sometimes. So you got to actually got to give them a little tighten every once in a while so you don't lose it. Um, this one is a convex one, I believe. You can actually get a concave one that kind of dishes in that fits your finger. Basically get it in any different color. Um, I'm seeing green, blue, silver, yellow. So you can basically get it in any color you want. I got red because I think it just matches the, the F because the F is red on the Fuji logo here. And so I think that looks really good on this camera. And yeah, that's basically it for little accessories. The last thing I wanna talk about is the teleconverter that I have. This thing kinda of turns your lens into a 50 millimeter. And this wasn't too expensive. This is actually the first generation. So they have a version two. And it basically all the version two does is inside the menu, it automatically switches your camera into telephoto mode. Um, because when you put this on, you actually have to change something in the menu to set it for, to figure it out optically. I don't really know how it works, but um, the old version, you can, you can still use it, the image quality is exactly the same from out of here but you have to go into the menu and change it to teleconverter mode before you can use this but this thing is pretty cheap as well it's 289 dollars that might sound kind of expensive but it's basically giving you a 50 millimeter lens that you can put onto your x100f uh, this will work on the x100t the x100s it kind of makes the camera look a little bigger which is kind of annoying but at the same time it's not that big of a deal but if you want to walk around and do more like portrait type stuff you can get that type of field of view with it and basically you just take that off and screw this on and it's built out of metal, it's built in Japan. It's basically like that. So that's kind of what it looks like. It makes your camera a little bit bigger. But yeah, that's basically all I gotta talk about for some of these accessories that you can add to the camera. And uh, they're pretty cheap for the most part, uh, especially the lens hood. I think it looks really good on there and it's vented. So if you are using the optical viewfinder, you can kind of still see through the edge. And yeah, that's all I really gotta talk about. Just wanted to make a quick video and show you some of the accessories that I got. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. I'll see you in the next one. Gotta do some B-roll now. B-roll.